Hi, my name is Patrick Rashawn and I'm a light painter. Now, light painting is um, a technique and an art form that involves taking pictures in the dark, doing a long exposure, that means taking a long picture, and then you use lights, a bit like this one, and then you move the light in the dark, and that light leaves a trail in the camera. Light painting can be applied to all kinds of uh, situations. It can uh, be used for portraits, taking pictures of your friends and family. It can be used to light paint cars, objects, things. It can be used to create uh, all these surreal landscapes. And um, it can be used to draw and to write. What inspired me to become a light graffiti artist, or I'm more of a light painter, honestly, is to, um, it's mainly my curiosity. I've been doing this for a very long time. I studied photography, I was very interested in photography first, and then I discovered light painting, and as soon as I did it, I found it was like magic. Drawing in the dark with lights and having this beautiful, colorful image appear afterwards, for me, was just like discovering a new world made out of light. But now with the internet and the digital cameras and the, all the LED lights, it's getting, uh, it's getting more popular, a lot of people are practicing it and we have a lot of uh, different kind of light painters and light graffiti artists out there and we all share our work together and we all meet on, on social medias and um, this, this form of art is just growing and spreading really well. The reason is, it's fun. And that's what it is. It's fun, it's magical, and it's beautiful. So I started in 1992, uh, over 20 years ago, um, after graduating from college, doing photography. And um, in 1997, I realized I was on a plane from New York to Tokyo, and I realized I'm a light painter, and I have to just focus on light painting and do light painting for, for the rest of my life. And since then, I've called myself a light painter, and I've been doing light painting. For me to get ideas for my art, I use my imagination. Sometimes I just lay down and I relax and I breathe and then I look at what my mind is telling me. I look at the pictures and the ideas that comes to me. That's one way I use my imagination. The other way is by doing artwork all the time, by doing creative ideas all the time, it generates more. So the more you create, the more ideas you have. And each time you finish a project, and you shared it with people, then you move on to the next step and automatically, naturally, your mind will generate new ideas. So the best part about my job is, first, light painting is a lot of fun. It's challenging and I love challenges and also it makes me uh, meet people, do all kinds of collaboration, it takes me on adventures and journeys and sometimes it makes me travel all over the world to different countries. So it is really a good job. but. I don't see it as a job, honestly. I see it as a lifestyle. I see it as a, uh, a natural part of myself. This is what I love to do. So if you want to do light painting, it's better to ask an adult to help out because you need a good camera and you need a tripod. And that camera will take a picture in the dark. Like it will do a long exposure. It will take a long picture. And while it's taking a long picture, let's say it takes a picture for one minute, then you can use any kind of lights you have. Lights from toys or uh, simple flashlights like this. You can put uh, plastic over it and then it will make a different effect. Uh, I created my own tools. I call them the light blades. And I gave them different shapes. And um, I give them different colors also with gels. And um, they're my favorite tools because I made them for my needs. But you can make your own tools for your needs. So the biggest challenge um, when you do light painting is first you work in the dark. You have to know where all your tools are and make sure nothing is in the way. And you also have to imagine, you have to like um, kind of feel and imagine, you have to use your intuition and trust yourself to paint with the light in the dark and to have a feeling, oh yeah, this should be interesting if I do this or if I do that. And of course, the more you do it, the better you become at it. There's no secret there. And also, in light painting, you have to balance between when you you have to balance between control and making things really perfect and freestyle, free-flowing. It's a balance between. If it's too much freestyle, sometimes it lacks structure. And if it's too controlled, then there's too much structure and no surprises. So you want to have a little bit of both. Right now, what I love to do is the light painting kata. 
This is when I practice in the dark on a black background by myself and I use my light tools, my, my light swords and I just practice freestyle and free movement. And this practice teaches me a lot, I discover a lot of surprises and what I like about it is it gives, a lot, it gives abstract results. And in these results sometimes if you look carefully and turn it around one side or the other you can discover like faces or animals or all kinds of uh, landscapes or imaginary stories and that's why I love to do the abstract. So I do a lot of light painting and do I always get good results? Well the answer is no. Most of the time most of my results are not so good or average or, or, or not interesting but I keep the few good ones and that's really what speaks to me. The importance to, to try again and again and um, to have fun basically and naturally as you practice you get better so have fun create as much as you can and enjoy it thank you